Hi, I'm Doug Carpenter, and I'm in Billings, Montana at Yellowstone Ice Company, where we're commissioning our latest facility build. I'm standing here by the brains of the operation, an automatic ice systems control system that will coordinate and integrate every machine in this facility to maximize its operational productivity and efficiency. You can simply touch the equipment and suddenly the equipment will come up on screen, provide all the operational variables along with the status of the operation. In addition, we've recently added control enhancements that have full operational diagnostics that tell the operators exactly where the problems are and how to cure those problems. In addition, we have our ammonia detection and ventilation panel. This makes sure that this facility stays safe for operations utilizing ammonia equipment. Follow me and I'll bring you into the machine room where the ice manufacturing takes place. I'm in the machine room where we're utilizing two Volt P34 AXL ice makers attached to one of our custom automatic ice systems refrigeration systems. This particular configuration is estimated to produce about 130 to 140 tons of daily ice production. In the future, we have planned expansion to add two additional boat ice makers. The ceiling structure is designed so that these two additional ice makers can be dropped into position and connected to a pre-piped ammonia refrigeration system. The electronics are already ran for a quick connection for these ice makers when they're needed in the future. Let me show you some of the details of our refrigeration system. This custom refrigeration system features a suction accumulator and a high pressure receiver that are pre-piped and ready to add an additional compressor in the future in order to maximize the production from four ice makers as this facility grows. For this refrigeration system, we're utilizing a Vilter 458XL compressor with a 150 horsepower motor and a Vilter 12-cylinder compressor featuring a 250 horsepower motor. As you can see, we already have a slab engineered and in place to accept a 16-cylinder compressor in the future. The ammonia piping is pre-piped and stubbed, ready to connect to the new compressor. The combined total will work together in a coordinated fashion to maximize the operational reliability and productivity of ice production. Let me take you to the next room where the ice is transferred before it goes into ice packaging. Now I'm standing in the middle of the packaging room. Ice is transferred from the Keith walking floor up to screening and then downstream to two packaging machines and one block press. For packaging machines, we're utilizing the Qualza RS400 packaging machine that produces bags of ice and then transfers them downstream on a custom engineered conveying system through metal detection and into an automatic ice system SA2 semi-automatic palletizing machine. Let's take a look at the palletizing machine. Initially, we're utilizing one SA2 semi-automatic palletizing machine. This machine stacks bags of ice in alternating patterns to full height fully automatically. The only operator intervention is required to add pallets and to transfer full pallets out of the machine. From the SA2, pallets are transferred to a stretch wrapping machine utilizing a Lantec semi-automatic stretch wrapping machine and then from there on into the freezer space through automatic doors. 
This room, like the machine room, is also built for expansion. We have options as the client grows. We can either add a second SA2 palletizing machine side by side with this machine, or if the client chooses, we can remove the semi-automatic palletizing machine and put in a fully automated system that will also handle all the pallet transfers, fully automated stretch wrapping, and transfer into the freezer automatically. As you can see, this facility is built for the future using today's finest technologies. We're proud to bring these technologies to Yellowstone Ice Company, and we're excited to help them to grow into the future. So until next time, keep it cool.